Hello everyone, it's Jessica here with another layout for the Bramble Fox design team. Today I'm using the June Fox Box and Fox Box Plus with the beautiful stencil and paper snips. And I'm actually going to be pulling this up with the photo play collection called Anchors Away. I love the colors in this collection. I think they're gorgeous. And I'm just going to start it off by going ahead and cutting this bottom section of my paper snips out with my coordinating die from the shop. I love having this die. It makes it super easy and you don't have to fussy cut all of those little labels so it gets that whole bottom section cut out for you and it's perfect every time it's all lined up and good to go I've got all these cut out super fast I'm just gonna set these aside for now I'm gonna actually use some of those wordy bits on this layout as well but for right now I'm going to focus on this hexagon paper and I'm gonna do some fussy cutting on here and cut out a whole bunch of those little hexagons so I didn't make you watch me cut all of those out I just cut a whole bunch and laid them aside here and grabbed my stencil along with some distress ink I'm just gonna use some pixie tape to tape off the areas that I don't want to get any of the ink on because I'm pretty messy when it comes to stenciling so I didn't want to get any on my paper where I didn't want the stenciling to be so I'm just really lightly going in with this blending brush and blending some of this ink on here just kind of scattering the rays and I just wanted a nice little kind of sunburst there for where my photo is going to sit down below I also wanted to use some tumbled glass ink to get some little blue splatters on there. So I'm just watering down some of that ink on my glass mat and flicking it on with my paintbrush. So I've got my photo of my little guy here when he was swimming at the creek where we go camping and I am just matting it with a piece of, um, it's actually just a scrap from another project that I did with this collection and I had this little scrap bit left so I matted it with some smooth white cardstock first and then that piece of yellow cardstock I just ripped off the bottom edge. Then I'm going to mat it with the blue as well and distress those edges. I like a lot of layers in my photos and behind them so I typically use a lot of pattern papers or different textures and things like tissue paper behind my photos. Didn't bring any of that into this one in particular but I have all these hexagons cut out that I'm going to layer around my photo so I kept my photo itself pretty simple in this one. So I'm just going to layer up these hexagons. I'm staggering them, but I'm actually overlapping them. Usually when I do hexagon layouts, I align them so that they're nice and perfectly aligned. But I really liked how this one was looking with overlaying them on each other and just kind of staggering them around the page and overlapping them. So I'm going to tuck that one in the top right there and then I'm going to continue layering up the rest of these. And from here on out, I'm just going to add some things and continue embellishing and I'm going to tuck some thread in behind my little flare and I'm going to add one of those epoxy stickers from the shop on that circle element there to make it actually into a flare. And yeah, I'm just going to continue embellishing and adding a few things here and there. I'll grab a couple things from my coordinating sticker sheet from this collection, some little starfish, I think, and pop some of these hexagons up for some dimension. And then I'm going to just kind of rough up the edges with the edge of my fingernails. So I'm going to pop some music in here while I finish this one up. If you guys have any questions for me, let me know in the comments down below. Feel free to say hi in the comments and tell me how you're doing, uh, what you're working on, what you're creating. I hope you're creating with me and I will link everything that I've used down below in the description in case you want to grab anything from the shops. So thank you guys so much and I will pop in a little bit later here with the finished layout.
here is the finished layout. I love how this came together with that beautiful summer vibes perspective from the Fox box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and crafting along with me today. I hope I've inspired you to create something. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.